I'm Hannah Buchanan-Smith, and I'm from the University of Stirling, and I'm uh, looking after this project called Living Together, because here in Living Links we house two species of monkeys, capuchin monkeys and squirrel monkeys, both from South America. And these monkeys naturally associate in the wild. We're studying the welfare of these two species in the captive environment to ensure that they're behaving in a natural way and that they're happy and healthy. Uh, as you can see from the monkeys here, the capuchin monkeys are much bigger than the squirrel monkeys. And so we were particularly concerned that the squirrel monkeys uh, might be threatened by the capuchin monkeys. So Living Links has been designed so that the squirrel monkeys have their own indoor enclosure, which the capuchins can't enter because the doorway is size restricted. But the squirrel monkeys can go into the capuchin indoor enclosure if they want. So here we have a real opportunity of, of choice. They can choose to associate as they would in the wild if they want to, but they can also choose to be a part. And the research that we've been doing has shown that they do actively choose and they want to be together. On nearly 80% of the time, we find that there are members of both species occupying the same part of the enclosure. So this is very positive when we're looking at their behaviour. We've also been looking at the different types of interactions between the two species. Uh, just with pencil and paper on a check sheet. So we go around, we can identify each of the monkeys individually. It takes a bit of time because there's a lot of them. Uh, and then we record where they are and what they're doing uh, throughout the day. The reason we're doing this research is to make sure that the welfare of the monkeys is optimal. So we're studying uh, how they behave and how they use the different parts of the enclosure down to the different types of branches in the enclosure. And we're finding, for example, that they like to sleep on large horizontal branches. And these um, are really important because they like to huddle together when they sleep. So uh, when we realised that there weren't so many of these, we, we made sure that we added some extra horizontal branches to give them the opportunity for very comfortable resting places at night. In general, capuchin and squirrel monkeys get on really well. We think that they are actually enriched by each other, that they really like being together, they actively choose to associate with each other and lots of the interactions that we see are very positive, very playful uh, and very affiliative.